Alrighty then, so moving along with the exponents, um, we're getting on to something called exponential growth. And uh, just like the title says, it says exponential growth, um, it says a bacterial culture started. Now a bacterial culture, don't worry about what that is if you don't know, it's not a science class, but it's basically a bunch of little bacteria that they keep doubling and doubling and uh, they grow very fast and that's why it's called exponential growth it's happening really quick and let's kinda look at how this is growing uh, so let's read together a bacterial culture started with 20 bacteria and doubled every minute okay so over here I've set up a table of values and at the top of X we're gonna talk about the time and the Y uh, the Y values are gonna be the bacteria or the number of bacteria okay so at the very beginning at the very beginning so before there was any time we had 20 bacteria in the beginning there was 20 bacteria no. okay there we go there we go 20 now after one minute how many bacteria are we gonna have well it doubles it doubles every minute so what's 20 doubled you get 40 okay after two minutes how many bacteria well what's 40 and they're doubling okay so it's doubling well 80 after three minutes we have 160 bacteria because we keep doubling what we had last time after four minutes what's 160 that's 320 and after five minutes we have 640 bacteria Okay, that's not good. This could all be happening in your throat and it could create like a cough, okay? Bacteria, they, they grow pretty quickly. And that's why uh, if you had a, a bacterial type uh, infection in your throat, you'd probably go and take antibiotics from the doctor, okay? So what we're going to do is just have a look at what, this is just an introduction to exponential growth. We're not really going to talk hugely about it, but what we want to do is I want to show you what a graph of this would look like. So I'm just going to go like this once again and go to Math Actions and Generate Graph. Thank you. Got to like this smart board software. There it is. So what we have here is exponential growth. If we were to connect these dots, if we were to connect them, use the big pink one there. Okay. Look at that. This is not a straight line. And unlike our last unit, it's not a parabola either my line or my graph it shouldn't really it shouldn't really be touching the x-axis because exponential growth it starts from here and it goes up and up and up that's about as good as I can draw it okay it goes forever faster and faster upwards and it actually goes forever this way to the left but it never quite touches the x-axis which is kinda cool because in math only in math something can get closer and closer to the x-axis but never quite get there. Isn't that weird? You can always think of a smaller number that <laughs> you can always think of a smaller number. So if it's one millimeter away then it could be half a millimeter away. And if you cut that in half then you're at 0.25 of a millimeter. You can keep cutting a number in half forever. So that's uh, that's something about these graphs. They actually never quite touch the x-axis. It's pretty cool. And they go up and up very quickly. There's many situations in real life that have exponential growth, including the population of our beloved planet Earth. Okay, and this is a this is another issue, but for now, I just want you to know what exponential growth is, and there you go. That's what it looks like. Okay. There's one other thing. I want you to know what exponential decay is. Exponential decay is kind of the opposite of exponential growth. Okay. Uh, I just made up a silly question here. I've been watching uh, TV a little lately regarding zombies and um, perhaps they're on my mind. Uh, not that they're scary, they, they kind of move slowly and they don't really attack that well. They just You just have to be careful. <laughs> but anyway, it says each year 50% of the population, this is horrible, it dies due to zombie attacks. Okay, so let's say in the beginning we started at whatever year you're talking about but we're just start, starting at zero because 
let's say it was 2012. Well, you'd say, well, that is year zero. That's when the zombies started. Uh, before anybody got attacked, we had what, how much of the population? Well, it says percent at the top. If you go and read the, the, the top, the, the top uh, title there, it says population percent. Well, we had 100% of the population. Okay? Then you go over here and you say, after one year, well, what percent of the population did we still have? Well, each year, 50% of the population dies. So we have only 50% of the population left. That's kind of sad. After two years, we have 25% of the population still around. Remember, we're cutting this in half each time. After three years, what is half of 25? Well, that is 12.5. Okay, 12.5. And after four years, we have, what is it? 6.25 of that's all that's left of the population it's pretty sad after five years um, I actually don't know what 6.25 divided by 2 is so I'm just gonna do that 6.25 divided by 2 it's got to be 3 point something 3.125 probably lots of math teachers know that but it takes me a little longer so 3.125 and there we go we got pretty detailed here. Now exponential decay. Now the numbers are one thing to look at, but it's a lot more exciting to look at the graph. So let's graph this thing using this smart board software, if, if I can make it work. Come on, there we go. Math actions, generate graph. Check this out. It's kind of the opposite of what we had before. We have a situation where we have lots of something. Okay, we have lots of something and it's uh, in our case, we started at 100, and then it started going downhill really fast, and then it starts to slow. Okay, it starts to slow down, and it's just like the other graph. It never quite touches the x-axis, but it goes on forever and ever this way, and it gets really close to the x-axis, closer and closer, but never quite touches. Okay. And the graph itself just keeps going up forever. But in our situation, we were concerned with this being our start point, year zero, right here. So this was our start point for us. Okay? But as a graph, if you were to graph this situation, it would go on forever. We'll talk about equations and all of that stuff later. So a final wrap-up. What you really need to know here is that exponential growth looks like this guy right there. Okay? Going from left to right, usually. Okay? and exponential decay looks like this graph and it goes from left to right as well it just goes down 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 it keeps decaying and as you know decay means uh, decaying okay <laughs> growth means growing decay means the opposite of growth which is decay okay I can't think of a better word to say at least that rhymes make my day <laughs>